got some big, big signings here, guys. Big signings. And so, pretty exciting stuff. Adama from Barcelona B on the cheap. Yeah, okay. Um, it was a little pricey for me, about 300k. So, um, But that's okay. It was totally worth it. Um, I wanted to thank the Twitch guys um, that were on today, that interactive um, uh, approach that I used with uh, the transfer market. Got everything done within a couple hours, so that was awesome. Um, I used a lot of input. Of course, a lot of the guys you guys recommended, um, mostly I couldn't sign because of uh, you know the realism aspect in the sense that there's just some players I can't sign, um, and I think that's pretty much all we can do. Um, one player I did sign, I'm really, really excited about this guy, is Troy Brown. Troy Brown's center back for Cheltenham, and I offered him, uh, offered him a good amount. Uh, he was uh, valued at 200. I offered 202. Uh, I came back, made a contract offer for being a crucial first team player, and right away he accepted. And then we'll take it. That's our. That was our very first signing, um, and then from here. I just kept on going, and I'm looking at James Campbell from Stoke City, young guy, good striker it seems. So I'm going to try to offer him uh, 2250, be a squad rotation player. And I even tried to go for Henry Lansbury earlier on um, that somebody had suggested from Twitch, and you know I was trying to go for whoever I could, and I used this uh, method of, or not method, I guess this rule of 200k outside of the league two and then 300 um if it's more outrageous and so we try to get an outrageous one Belel omrani who's going to be pretty significantly great um i think probably later down the road um but we could afford him um we just have to adjust the office uh finances here and move the wage budget and the transfer budget balance um the budget allocation so you know, uh, maybe that would work out. Uh, maybe I could get some things. I don't like the red already spewing out there, but I think I'll, I'll be okay. I'm going to win some things here with this team um, that I'm going to finish off with. But I wanted to show you guys just the transactions and everything that I went through. Um, and here we see James Gray accepted, um, but I'm more interested in Below and Ronnie because he's a big deal. Um, so I offered, you know, what I could there. And, uh, you know, I went after some other players. Here's James Gray. He accepted. And so I'm going to, um, you know, offer him what I think he could be worth, which is pretty simple, 750 James Gray could also be one of those players who I think could be a rotation player. So I'm going to go for that. Got some young guys coming in. Here's another young and Dominic Knowles. He accepted his offer. And so I've got him in. And look at Brown's a 61 overall. Knowles is a 50. Nothing too exciting. Um, probably somebody for the future, but I'm definitely going to give him a shot. Um, we have Max Elmer here, uh, somebody suggested, so I figured why not. Let's go for it, see what see what comes up from it. And maybe, just maybe it'll, you know, we'll get lucky. Using that 200k um, rule, Callum Wilson was another one, really exciting player. I was really excited reading about this guy and then seeing how he's probably affordable. Playing for Coventry City would be a step down going down to League 2, but he'd get a lot of first team action. But uh, apparently he's already getting a lot of action at uh, Coventry City in the first team. So another player, Kieran Agard. apologize if I'm butchering these names. Um, but another outstanding young player, about 24, so not super young, but probably right in his prime. Um, He's an important first team player for them, so I kind of have to offer just a little bit. Mathis Boli from uh, Fortuna Dusseldorf from the Bundesliga. I'm um, going after him as well. So, I'm, as you see, most of the guys I'm going after younger guys that you know I can afford. Um, and then here was a great idea from, from one of the guys on Twitch, Gabriel, and get him on loan. And this kid has potential to be up to you know 500,000 or something. Um, so let's just go on a loan with him, get him some first team experience. He's only 17, and I'm going to let him anchor my midfield and see how it plays out. You know, and that'd be awesome. And I'm also looking at Emile S uh, Sinclair, another quality striker. Um, so you can see with, with Wickham, I'm just trying to aim for some strikers, um, trying to get some guys. There's Bilal Armani, offer declined. 
Um, not interested really, so I'm going to try to be a little bit more specific of how crucial he is going to be for me. If I get him as my striker, there's nobody else I'll go after. But as you can say, the re see the remaining wage budget still under that. So I have to go ask you know, for more money. I have to go balance it out. I guess I'm not really asking for it, but I am you know, moving the budget allocation. So my new transfer budget goes lower and lower, um, comfortably about 400, 500, something like that, just so I can offer up some of these wages that players are going to be demanding. Um, this is really the, 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 the balance of it. It's so crazy how I have to do this because I have to be realistic in sim, what players are really realistically going to play in League 2. And then what players, you know, are can we afford? And so it's not surprising that I'm getting some a lot of rejections. You know, I haven't proved myself in, in the league. Uh, you know, got sacked from Fleetwood Town. Um, Kieran Agard there, 375, would be really tempting. Um, but I'm going to save my money a little bit. Um, but here's the nice thing is do you get to sign on uh, Gabriel, the 17-year-old from Brazil, Santos. So that's exciting stuff right there. And here I'm asking for more money. I'm getting a little greedy. You know, you already had a million to play with. Give me 500 if you could, maybe. I think that's what I offer up. Yeah, I, you know, I'm telling them I'm gonna finish mid table and get deep into the into the cup. So give me 500k, or please. And of course, I get. Uh, you see at the bottom here, additional transfer funds requested. Um, first, finding out about Coventry City and Dusseldorf not getting uh, Mathis Bali and Callum uh, Wilson come on and then so yeah math is bowling and, and Callum Wilson so but here's you know basically they don't feel like I've done enough so if we look at everything the last player who I got rejected early earlier on I'm going after Adama you know one of the guys on, on Twitch really just said you know what let's just get Adama if we can get Adama we'll be in great shape and so you know what? I'm just gonna push for it. And look at that. He accepted. So now I've got to make the you know the impact with the wage, and it's actually really nice. Um, right on point for what I'm looking at. This right wing 18 year old, you know, he'd be a crucial first team player. He'd probably be my main striker. I'm all about this signing right here. And if I you know if he accepts, which he does. Super excited about this one. This is why he's on the front page, and this is why um, he's a big deal. And I think we can grow him um, in Wickham um, and further along his career. Honestly, I don't know if we'll be able to keep him for his entire career. This is an outstanding player who apparently gets really exciting. Um, it really good. And here's a quick, quick um, little uh, snippet of our friendly that we played uh, hosting Trapani. I'm just going to show the goal. Um, we won this 1-0, and here's the, some of the new boys here. Here's one of the, the players I'm getting used to, Kirschmar. I can't really pronounce his name. But here's Adama with his first touch. Gabriel with his first touch. Finds Zvard here, and Zvard just does what he does. What a finish that was. I remember Zvard was a, was a killer against me in Fleetwood Town. I'm excited for him. He's 31. Um, he's got a lot to prove in that center mid. I'm going to actually, when the season starts, I'm going to put Zvard and Gabriel uh, side by side. So Bloomfield, who was a previous captain, is out. Um, I want to put the 17-year-old with the 31-year-old, let them learn from each other. Um, but just a quality finish there. So we won that 1-0. Here's everybody we've got. Adama, Gabriel, Gray, Knowles, and Brown. Super excited. Um, not as many players as I wanted to with the whole million, um, but Adama, really big signing there. And Gabriel, um, you know, he'll probably do awesome. And then Gray is going to be one of those silent players I'm going to put on. I'm going to pair him up with Adama. I think they're going to really see that quality um, improve. And then you've got um, Brown as well. We got some uh, some world news. Barcelona going to Neuer. And then Silva from Turkey United, like anybody cares about that. Um, but Ron Vlar, here in a second here. here. Ron Vlar goes to, says he's going to stay at Aston Villa. What did he do? Everybody cares about that. Um, and then, yeah, so not really anything. But then the World Cup news, you know, Uruguay won. That's pretty awesome. So I'm going to ask for 300 k before the end of this episode. 
because I want to spend a little bit more money. There's some players out there I really still want to go after. So wish me the best of luck there, guys. And hopefully we'll get something going. As always, make sure to like this video. If you could, I'd surely appreciate it. Stay tuned to the next episode. That's going to be against Exeter City to open up the season. Remember that this channel will always have content that's challenging, realistic, and interactive. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Stay tuned.